go. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the pictures and I'm going to have you guys put the words where they go on your bad maps. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, the first one. This is a picture of a volcano. volcano. Okay, and there's something inside of the volcano and something outside of the volcano. And I would like you to write the words that go there. Inside and outside of your volcano. And if you're not sure, remember there's a word bank up at the top of the board. So you can choose one of the words right there. Some of you even remember what comes next. <laughs> you're starting already. Hey, the next one we learned about a place called the Ring of Fire. And it's because all of the volcanoes around there occur at a something something. So here's my volcanoes around the Ring of Fire. Volcanoes can occur at one of these places. Please choose a word from the word bank and fill it in on your, on your paper. The ring of fire is an example of when volcanoes occur in this place. Now we've got, sorry, here's your word choices. Hot spot is one, magma is another, lava is one, and plate boundaries is another. Hey, our last one, we have a couple examples of another place volcanoes occur. We learned about the Hawaiian Islands, and we learned about Yellowstone National Park and geysers, and these are an example of things that occur at blank. You write the word that goes with those ones. which word goes where? Are you ready? Okay. Turn around, eyes up here. What goes inside the volcano? Magma. Magma. Good job. M-A-G-M-A. -M -A. Magma. What word goes outside of the volcano? Lava. Lava. Good job. Molten rock, when it erupts, turns into, goes from magma to lava. We call it not lava when it's on the outside. The ring of fire is an example of when volcanoes occur at... Plate boundaries. Good job. Plate boundaries. And the Hawaiian Islands being formed by volcanoes and geysers and yellowstones are examples of a hot spot. hot spot under the Earth's surface. Good job. Okay, once you have those filled out, I'd like you to take and put your bad maps away inside of your desk. And then I'd like each of you to open up to your table of contents in your geology book. Mr. Tino, am I? Remote, isn't it? For that? Oh, there it is. Well, then, could you please come up here and be my pointer for today? Thank you. All right, everybody open up to the table of contents. Slide your finger down until you get to chapter four. Thank you for turning it on. If you let go, then it'll turn. Good job. And read the title of chapter four with me, Voices Together. First Fiery Volcano. Page 32. Good job. Turn to page 32. Wait. Oh, here. I will change it. Thank you. We should be ready now. Malvin, can you please open up to page 32? Yes. Earth Fiery Volcano. chair tucked in. Pencils are all the way. We're only going to use our fingers to point. Fingers under the word imagine. Malvin, fingers under the word imagine. Please show us where we're at. My turn, you point. Imagine seeing new land, land. form 
perform right before your eyes. You can do just that off the island of Hawaii and the Hawaiian island chain. There, the Kilauea volcano has been erupting continuously since 1983. At times, red hot lava shoots out of the crater at the volcano's top. More often, lava oozes out of cracks on the volcano's side. As the lava flows downhill, it cools and hardens into volcanic rock. When lava flows all the way to the ocean, it cools to form rock along the shore. This adds to the island, making it a little bigger than it was before. Erupting volcanoes are Dramatic. natural events. They can be a creative force, adding new land, even whole islands, to our planet. Thank you. They also bring minerals from deep inside the earth to the surface. However, volcanoes can be dangerous and destructive. Large volcano eruptions can flatten entire forests. They can fill the air with poisonous gases and hot choking ash. They can release rivers of lava that burn and bury everything in their path. Erupting volcanoes can also trigger earthquakes, tsunamis, and landslides. They can even change the weather all around the world. Pointers up, fingers under imagine at the top of that page we just read, still on page 32. Fingers under imagine, voices, oh wait, we're not all there. Fingers under imagine, voices together. Imagine seeing new land form right before your eyes. You can do just that on the island of Hawaii in the Hawaiian island chain. There, the Kilauea volcano has been erupting continuously since 1983. At times, red hot lava shoots out of the crater at the volcano's top. More often, lava oozes out of cracks on the volcano's side. As the lava flows downhill, it cools and hardens into volcano rock. When lava flows all the way to the ocean, it cools to form a rock along the shore. This adds new land. Erupting volcanoes are dramatic natural events. They can be a creative force, adding new land, even whole islands, to our planet. They also bring deep inside the earth However, volcanoes can be dangerous and destructive. Large volcanoes erupt and can flatten entire forests. They can fill the air with poisonous gases and hot choking ash. They can release rivers of lava that burn and bury everything in their path. Erupting volcanoes can also trigger earthquakes, tsunamis, and landslides. They can even change the weather all around the world. Okay, everybody stop right here. This is where we are going to talk to your partner. Since John's not here right now, I'll have you turn around and talk to Michaela. Okay? Malvin, I'm going to be your partner. All right? Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I want you guys to describe the effects that volcanoes can have on the earth, okay? So you're gonna enlist the effects from volcanoes that are included in this part of the text. So you're going to go in your text, you're going to find these effects from the volcanoes, and you and your partner are going to find everything that you can from that piece of text that we just read. Capiche? Okay, ready? Everybody, your shoulder partners, the people you're sitting next to, please. 
Describe the effects that volcanoes can have. Ready and go. volcanoes do? Uh, no. Okay. Raise your hands down. Raise your hand if you told about some bad things that volcanoes can do. Okay, so I'm wondering if you guys talked about how they add new land. Okay. Asher, what's the kind of new land that they might add? Uh, like another mountain. Maybe another mountain. Good job. Uh, did any of you talk about how they might bring materials to the Earth's surface? Good job, I know Malden told me that one. Good job, so those are both good things. Did anybody talk about how they might be destructive and flatten forests? Very good. Did you talk about how there might be poisonous gases in the air? What about choking ash? Yeah, in the air. What about that they can cause earthquakes, tsunamis, or landslides? Man, you guys covered that, very good, awesome. Okay, next page. The year without a summer. Fingers under in. Wait, what about the big one? We're not doing that one right now, okay? Fingers under in, we're just doing our echo read. Fingers under in, fingers under in, that means I really truly want your finger underneath the word in. We're on the year without a summer, top of page 33. No, we're not gonna do the big question. We're not doing the big question today, we're, we're good today, we're just doing our echo read. Fingers under in, page 33. Malden's gonna show us where we're at. Hey, if you're not sure, check where Malden is. Fingers under in my turn, you point. In the spring of 1815, a volcano called Tambora erupted in Indonesia. It was the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history. Tambora's eruption blasted enormous amounts of ah. high into the atmosphere. In the months that followed, winds distributed the ash around the globe. The fine ash particles in the air blocked some of the sunlight reaching Earth's surface. Less sunlight meant less warmth. Because of Tambora, the weather was much colder than normal in 1816. There were hard frosts in New England all summer long. Oh. Finger on the page. A foot of snow fell in eastern Canada, Canada. Thank you. in June. Weeks of cold rain killed most of the crops in Europe. People called 1816, read the quote with me. The year without a summer. Good job, ready, fingers back up, underneath the word in. Malden's showing you where we're at in case you're not sure. Voices together. In the spring of 1815, a volcano called Tambora erupted in Indonesia. It was the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history. Tambora's eruption lasted enormous amounts of ash high into the atmosphere. In the months that followed, wind distributed the ash particles. The fine ash particles. Yeah. 
Turn the page, please. Turn the page, please. Okay, fingers under up. We're on what is a volcano. Malvin, please show us fingers under up. Okay, everybody check with Malvin. Make sure you're in the right spot. My turn, you point. A volcano is a hill or mountain that forms over a crack in the earth crack. from which lava erupts. The crack leads down to a chamber or huge space filled with magma, which comes from the mantle. Tremendous pressure. Oh, that wasn't very good. Tremendous pressure. And heat in the mantle force magma in the chamber upward through the crack. If the pressure is great enough, Magma erupts on the surface as lava. Good job. Fingers up underneath up. We're going to echo read that same part together. Fingers under up. Voices together. A volcano is a hill or mountain that forms over a crack in the earth's crust from which lava erupts. The crack leads down to a chamber. Next page, fingers under sump. Malin, show us where we're at. Fingers under sump. Just leave it alone, bud. Just put your finger under sump. Let's not zoom in and out anymore. Thank you so much. Fingers under sump. My turn, you point. Some volcanic eruptions are relatively calm and quiet, whereas others are violent and violent. Each time lava erupts, a new layer of rock forms, making the volcano bigger and bigger. Many volcanoes gradually become high cone-shaped mountains. Mount Vesuvius in Italy and Mount Fuji in Japan are good examples of volcanoes with this distinctive shape. Everybody say Vesuvius. Vesuvius. Good job. The very first word in the next paragraph is Vesuvius. Remember, that's the one from Italy, so the name's kind of hard to say. Vesuvius and Fuji have something else in common. They are two words. Active volcano. An active volcano is one that has erupted in the past 10,000 years and is likely to erupt again. When an active volcano hasn't erupted in a long time, it is considered a dormant volcano. Good job. Two words, sorry. Dormant volcano. Extinct volcanoes are those that have not erupted for at least 10,000 years. Okay, so what you got, oh, sorry, we need to echo this part. Fingers up under sump. This is usually you got the sun. Okay, don't worry about it, Mama. Fingers under sun. Fingers under sun. Hey, you're my guy. Fingers under sun. Thank you so much. Fingers under sun. Voices together. Some volcanic eruptions are relatively calm and quiet, whereas others are sudden and violent. Each time lava erupts, a new layer of rock forms, making the volcano bigger and bigger. Many volcanoes gradually become high cone shaped Vesuvius in Italy and Mount Fuji in Japan are good examples of volcanoes with this distinctive shape. Vesuvius and Fuji have something else in mind. They are active volcanoes. An active volcano is one that has erupted in the past. Except for 
I'm mixing a couple of you up. Charity, I'd like you to come over here and sit by Cheyenne. Michaela, I'd like you to walk up and stand by Malvin while we do this discussion, okay? You and your partner are going to talk about, you're going to name and describe different types of volcanoes on this page. So you're comparing and maybe even contrasting a little the three different types of volcanoes, okay? So describe with your partner the three different types of volcanoes and how they can be classified in each one of those categories. Ready and go. <laughs>